will be watching because he has been on a roll this summer will be Eric Almarola. He finished seventh last Sunday to continue that summer stretch. But he and his family have also been busy showing fans a glimpse of their lives outside the sport. What's up? Come on in. For the past two years, I've produced a series called Beyond the Ten on my YouTube channel. It really is just wherever life happens to take me in that moment when a videographer is around, which seems to be often. Mm. I need a half of a peanut butter and half of an oatmeal raisin. That behind the scenes look at, at what a race car driver does when he's not holding the steering wheel. That's it. NASCAR production day over. These are all their lockers. Well, don't tell them. We got all the team radios, the whole spare engine. Oh boy. I'm breaking stuff. They're not going to let me in here anymore. Believe it or not, I did not sign up to be a race car driver because I wanted to be famous. I just actually like to drive cars fast. I'm pretty quiet, I'm pretty reserved. Janice is as well. Garlic salt, onion powder, paprika. Uh, naturally, we would not volunteer to open up our home. I think it took a, a little bit of convincing for us from the, the people that helped me with my business stuff. I hope so. They were just like, man, you know, you have a story. I'm a normal guy. I take out my trash. Like, I do things that everybody else does. And so I just feel like it humanizes me. Abby is a ham for the camera. Smithfield bacon. I will never eat any bacon but Smithfield. She definitely practices all the things she learns in theater and drama club at school. Hey, you're not going to use all of that syrup for your pancakes, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a husband, I'm a dad, I'm a Christian, I'm an athlete. It's one thing for people to see you on the television driving a race car. It's a totally different thing for people to understand who you are. As long as we have that engagement and people are interested, uh, we'll certainly keep doing it. <laughs> Look at his excitement there. Fans can view by subscribing on YouTube and following Eric on all social media platforms at Eric Almarola, just a great family. His wife, Janice, uh, from a racing family as well. Her dad, one of the great racing minds, uh, Randy Goss. Uh, so they certainly know racing. They live it, Brad. But his numbers, as you see there, back on the track, he is having, I guess you would say it's kind of the, the season of a lifetime. But does he need to win um, to really, even if he makes the playoffs, but doesn't have that win, I assume that means he's, he's still missing something pretty important, right? Yeah, Chris, you know, he's been very, very consistent. Uh, they've done a great job. The last eight weeks, he's the only driver to finish inside the top ten every week. As a matter of fact, for the last nine weeks, he's finished inside the top ten. Uh, very, very consistent, very strong. Those top ten finishes, by the way, he didn't do that in the first six years of his eight-year career. He, he struggled with the top ten, so I like the consistency there. He has not been very good at Michigan, though. Uh, in 15 races at Michigan, he only has one top ten finish. But... The caveat to that is his crew chief, Mike Boogerabbits, won here uh, with, with uh, Clint Boyer in 2018. So he brings that to the table. And, and also, Stuart Haas has won three of the last four here. So that's balancing out the negatives with the positives. And I think Eric Almarola uh, has a great chance to get the victory lane this weekend. I'm, I'm excited for him. He's done well whenever we run the back-to-back the -back races as well. At Pocono, had two top five finishes. And we're doing that again this weekend. I think he gets that monkey off his back. And I think one of these two days, Eric Almarola gets to go to victory lane. Well, that's a lot of, you got, gave him a lot of secret weapons, a lot of trump cards in his favor yes. for sure. Yes. You mentioned Stuart Haas Racing and their success. I mean, 